you accept Christ. And right now you're dealing with some kidney issues. You're dealing with the family issues, your mom and dad, that, that, that hurts your heart. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we'd like to see you get right with the Lord and then be able to trust the Lord to help you through these things. Because Heath and I deal with some things in our life. And, you know, I've been through a divorce, you know, it was a terrible, terrible thing. My wife left me for another guy, and I thought, wow, I can't even uh, keep a wife. I must not be much of a man. And that and that was the point when I accepted the yeah. Lord at that point in my life. We just have to look at, I've learned from all the negativity yeah. that I've been yeah. through and all the animosity I have yeah. towards others, yeah. ex like, for example, certain people in yeah. I don't want to, you know, put yeah. them down because yeah. they are my parents. And yeah, yeah. I'm blessed for them yes. because without them, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be here. But at the same sense, I feel like now that I have had so much negativity, I yeah. have to look at everything from a positive That's standpoint. Right. That's right. And so maybe you should just think of it as it was her loss, not yours. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You know? It's so important. So just be positive yeah. about it. We had a sermon last Sunday that talked about, uh, that talked about forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And there's a, it's funny because it, there's a, God knew that was important in our life, so he put two stories in the Bible. And one of the stories was this guy, this slave, owned this guy like $100,000, and, you know, you have to convert it. Okay, and he came up to him and, uh, and begged for forgiveness, and the man uh, gave, forgived him of the $100,000. Right. And, and he could never pay it back because it was more than he'd ever made. That same slave left that man, ran, and found the guy that owed him like $150, and choked him and said, give me that money, you owe me, give me that money. Well, that was a parable that God put in the Bible to teach us that there was a huge thing that we were forgiven for. That was God forgiving us of our sin. Right. That's huge. So that would be like the first. And the second thing, there's li the little forgiveness might be the forgiveness that you have to forgive your mom and dad. Mm -hmm. and, and so because God forgave you of all the sins in your life and, and wants to uh, have you with him in heaven, we are to forgive others in our life. Right. And then he went on to share that one of the um, one of the biggest uh, reasons of of uh, depression and conflict in our life is when we have unforgiveness in our heart. You know that wouldn't be good. I mean for that you. makes sense, but yeah. sometimes forgiving people, it's a it's it very you know hard. time tells all. So yeah. Yeah. Time I can't say hard. that I will never yeah. forgive them. Yeah. Yeah. But that's yeah. just it's just but kind of one need, of those things. But so. you really, you know. You'll always have a, a hurting part in your heart as mm -hmm. long as you don't forgive them. So it's so right. important that even though they're wrong, you know, when you forgive them doesn't mean you have to wait till they're right. They can be absolutely wrong and you absolutely right, but because God forgave you of, of the sins in your life that you really need to forgive them, yeah. and then you'll be a complete person. You know, right. you'll, you'll be able to live in a joy focus because now you kind of... No, well, we would. listen, I'm, I'm actually going to ask you this. Don't do that. I have one question for you. Yes. Would you allow Dan and I to try to help mend your relationship with your parents? I don't know if I'm ready for it. You know, I just, I feel like I'm at a point in time in my life where I'm trying to find myself, and yeah. I know that part of that is forgiving. Yeah. You know, it would probably be a weight lifted off my shoulders. Yes. But I feel like... Right now, with the way things are, I think that I need to fo focus more on myself. Yeah, for reason, too, I believe yeah. that's it. I think that's cool. That yeah. He, and, and to me, it's a way that he shows you he cares about you. Because mm -hmm. he brought us here and to share with you. And, right. and so now we have to determine, okay, why, why is it that God brought us here? Well, we're trying to share the truths of the word. And you, yeah. you mentioned that you're working on yourself, mm -hmm. uh, which is excellent. You know, God calls us to work on ourselves. But the way, the way Heath and I work on ourselves is when we go to church and we hear the sermon and the sermon just tells us direct, you know, the pastor really spends time with the Lord and asks the Lord, what can I share with my, con my congregation and stuff? And then we hear those words. And man, sometimes Heath and I walk out and we'll go, man, that hit me hard. Sometimes I feel like you have to be independent before yeah. you can be dependent. Yeah. And I know that sometimes in life you have to be self of Christians who can support you and, and assist you and pray for you and help teach you God's word, how more importantly could you focus on self than by than by doing that? Well, I mean, I totally agree with that. And, you know, I, like I said, like I, I, although my parents may not be a part of my yeah. life, my, yeah. uh, my, my entire part of my family is. That's good. Size pastor. 
And, oh, man, he really preaches the word in Well, I will go ahead and say that I'm not going to come tomorrow. Okay. But next Sunday, I would really, really, genuinely, okay. truly, okay, honestly, good. would like to come. Okay. But tomorrow is just not a good, okay. a good right. time for me. All right. But um, other than that, I totally yeah. would. Do you mind if we uh, write down your information and follow up with you yeah, and check cool. on you? Yeah, that's totally okay. fine. Good. Here, why don't you write it down? Station. So I'm going to ask that as we leave, and you think, well, God, did you send them? Did you not send them? You're going to have a choice to come to that. Did I meet just two crazy guys, or is there some truth? Could this have been a divine appointment that you established? You know, it's either really one or the other. Either we're two crazy guys. Yeah, but we might be crazy, and God brought us here. <laughs> well, there maybe there's a, there, maybe there's a third crazy. option. Yeah, you seem a little crazy. I'm yeah. kind of getting scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. But as you contemplate, you're going to come to a decision of what was this, yeah. and and if and if you think God's hand was in part of it, I'm going to ask that you talk to Him today. Yeah. That you start. Remember, we talked about what sin does, and it causes a break in fellowship. Mm -hmm. Start that prayer with, with literally, for me, it's naming them. Um, when I first prayed to receive Christ, listen, I know I didn't name all of them, but I was literally, I went down the list of everything I could possibly think of to being rude to my sister, which is every day. Yeah. Um, so I, I literally named them off and said, Lord, forgive me for these things. I want to not create trans transgressions that separate me from you. And so I'm asking for you to reach out to me. Right. And for your prayer, it could be continued. Just confirm that I know you, Father. That let me let me ask for forgiveness for not coming to you in my time of need. You know, I need to be humble and ask for your help and 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 ask for Him to forgive you for your sins to be the Lord and Savior of your life. You know, we talked about Savior. You know, a lot of people know have knowledge of His Savior position, but making Him Lord means He's in control of you and He rules your life and you live for Him. That's a different understanding. Of relationship that's and so a, you know contemplate that and go to him after we leave and, and spend some time in prayer I honestly will you know with like everything that I'm going on like I believe that things happen for a reason so I think that you guys coming yeah, here today amen. is a blessing and we believe that too. So, so, we'd like to, if you yeah, would like to sure sure I'm won't be totally against I'm kind of sweaty <laughs> that's <all> right <laughs> Heavenly Father we're thankful because we do believe that you called us here and we believe you called us here because you love Ashley. That's right. Lord, and you care about her. Yes. And I thank you that she was open and she's friendly and she's searching, Lord, and she wants answers, Lord. So we ask you that you bring answers into her life, Lord. And we're thankful that you've given us so many answers and it's written in the Word of God. Lord. That's right. So I pray she'll go to your Word and she'll read it, Lord. And I pray she'll reach out and even visit here at our church, Lord, or any Bible-believing church, Lord, and we'll listen to the word that you have for her heart. And, Lord, now there's some issues that we want to pray for, specific issues, and that's the issue with their mother and dad, Lord. I pray for them. I pray that you will convict their hearts yes. to be loving toward their daughter, yes, to be forgiving and loving and caring for their daughter, Lord. And I thank you for Ashley, for, for even what she's been through, that she has the rest of her family depend on Lord. That's right. I pray that you'll help her to forgive her parents for what, uh, for this unforgiveness in their lives, Lord, and uh, realize that they are, uh, they are faulty human beings just like Ashley and me and Heath are, Lord. So That's right. be with her. And Lord, now we also want to pray for this kidney situation, Lord. We pray that you, your hand will be in it, Lord. That if there's some test or, or uh, any kind of procedure that needs to be done, Lord, that you would. Uh, watch over the doctors as they read the test and as, that they would uh, would not miss anything or they would not misdiagnose. And Lord, we even pray that if it's your will and you want to just take this problem away from her and just heal this kidney, Lord. That's right, Lord. We pray Lord. that you'll do that, Lord, because we know you love her, Lord. And so we just thank you that we can come, that you give us the ability to come to you directly and ask these things. And, you, and we learn in your word that you are all-knowing you are all powerful. You are omnipotent, you, which means you are everywhere, Lord. And then you tell us that you know when a sparrow hits the ground. And the next verse says, how much more do I care about you if I care about this That's right. the sparrow? So thank you, Jesus, for being powerful and loving at the same time. And we just thank you again for being able to meet Ashley and for this time you've given us together. And we pray in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you all very okay. much. I appreciate it. All right, Dan, was that not what it's all about? That is it, man. What a great opportunity God gave us. We came here on Saturday morning. 
knocked on doors, many people who we could hear in the house didn't answer. But then when you come to a situation like this, and you're able to share a hurting person who's struggling with hurt in her heart because her mom and dad uh, won't forgive her, who's dealing with a kidney issue and knows nothing about the saving grace of Christ. Uh, what a blessing. How excited. Uh, Heath and I are so pumped because God gave us opportunity and used us and hopefully can make a difference in Ashley's life. So and Dan, just to be present and yeah. watching him work, oh, man. how exciting and invigorating oh. is it to see the Holy Spirit reaching out to someone and yeah. convicting and allowing yeah. the conversation. Yeah. Um, we have to be out and about. That's right. Thank you, Jesus, for this. That's Thank right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord.